it's an incredible experience. And it's something that I think I'd like everybody to have the opportunity to see because you get you get yourself reflected in ways that uh, you otherwise could never could never have done. And and also like it's it's painful. It's painful. It's very sad in places. And I, I go back there in my memory. And so it isn't just a joyful experience or a, a learning experience. It 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 is sad, it is painful in places. But that's okay, and that's a, a growing experience. It more than does justice, I think. <laughs> I think it's a I think it's a terrific play, and I think that uh, Jason Ripp is a, a wonderful playwright and a, and a good friend. And I admire his work very much. So I'm just very lucky to be uh, uh, to have the play written about me. It's intimidating at first, um, because when you're doing with someone that's alive, you really feel that there's there's this pressure that you feel you have to be uh, exactly like them in a way, because um, you want people to know that it's Roy. Obviously, they they see that. So on the one hand, it's difficult because you really want to hit it dead on, and then of course with them in the audience, you're very self-conscious because you want to be just like them. You don't want them sitting there going, "Oh man, this is terrible." Um, but I know after doing it tonight and talking to Roy, I think he's he, he's pleased with it. But on the other hand, when they are alive, it's really helpful because you can really get a lot of useful stuff. And I did spend a fair amount of time with Roy to get his actions and his motions down as best I could. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice to be on stage with them together at the same time. I think that's a really neat feature. Uh, that, that that was a nice added touch, and and I think it's 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 good to be out there beside Roy, standing beside him. I like it very much. Yeah, it's a good speed. It's a, it's it's a good part of the play. My name is Adam Corrigan Hollowitz. I'm the artistic director of El Vigo Root Theater Company and the director of our current production of Beard, A Few Moments in the Life of Roy McDonald. Um, and I'm also the performer of my solo play Manor Park, which is on in repertory with Beard for two performances. Beard tells the story of Roy McDonald, who is um, Lon one of London's real icons. He's a philosopher a uh, street poet, a busker, a poet, um, a very wise person, a very honest person. The story follows his life roughly from 1950 all the way until um, 2012 at the Occupy encampment in London. Um, it, it tells of Roy in his early years being a very passionate person, a very ardent activist, and then transcending into a very, very um, soulful and very emotional, but very balanced person in his later years. It's a very compelling story to watch. It's very funny. It, it, it also is doing something that I wanted to do for a long time, which is expand our mandate at El Vigo Route to produce local stories about local people um, local places, and we're doing that with both Beard and Manor Park. Manor Park tells the story of the neighborhood where I went to grade school. It's a play I wrote and perform. Um, it's directed by John Turner. It's a blue-collar neighborhood that is that that had its school closed a couple of years ago, and the school was the real heart of the neighborhood. It's a play that that both plays really celebrate absurdity and playfulness and a certain amount of childhood. They're both really funny plays, and they complement each other nicely, and hopefully they'll start a tradition of us doing more local stories.